Okay, here's a question where uh, they actually sort of give you the answer and they want you to uh, find out what the question was. That's sort of what it is. So they want you to find the polynomial, degree 4, that has these zeros. So they all already have found the zeros, so you have to come up with the original polynomial. So, uh, whoops, whoops, let me forget that. Uh, there, okay. So, um, uh, where should we start? So they give us some zeros. Why don't we maybe plot it and take a look at uh, what um, what the thing's going to look like, and then we'll come up with the polynomial. So it's degree 4, so that means it has to have uh, this kind of shape to it. It doesn't say anywhere in the question if it's the right side up one like this, where it would be a positive x to the 4th, or if it's an upside down one, which would be a negative x to the 4th. We'll maybe assume this one just for graphing purposes. To get the polynomial, um, you really should know that information, but they didn't give it to us in the quiz. Anyway, it has 3 uh, with 3. Negative 3 is a 0, multiplicity of 2. Okay, so negative 3, multiplicity 2. Uh, it has negative 2, multiplicity of 1 and negative 1 as a multiplicity of 1. Okay, so I have 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. Good. Now when I have a multiplicity of 2, what that really means is that, in terms of a graph, is it comes down and just touches the graph at a certain spot. So here at minus 3, 1, 2, 3 over there, the graph is just going to touch at that point. Uh, it also is going to touch at uh, minus 2 right there. Or not touch, it'll go through it at minus 2. And it'll go through at minus 1. Multiplicity just goes straight through if you have of 1. If you have multiplicity of 2, it just touches. If you had a multiplicity of 3, this question doesn't ask that. But if you have that, what it does, it comes down and just sort of bends at that point where there's a multiplicity of 3. And really it goes like that with odds and evens. So multiplicity is even, it touches. If a multiplicity is odd like this one, it bends and goes through. Okay, so um, I'm going to maybe pick this x to the fourth graph. So I'm going to come down, so it's high to high. Uh, so I'm going to come down, and at this point here, since the multiplicity is 2, I'm just going to touch and come back up. Then it says I have to go through this point and through that point. So my graph's going to look something like that. Okay, so um, now to write these x-intercepts as factors, if minus 3 is an x-intercept, so then the factor is going to be x plus 3. Multiplicity of 2, that means I'm going to have two of them. Uh, also have a multiplicity of plus 2, of, or a uh, y-intercept of minus 2, so my factor is x plus 2, and x-intercept minus 1, that gives me a factor of x plus 1. So I could probably just say, hey, there's my poly polynomial, I'm done. In the book, what they're wanting you to do, and I won't do this on an exam, but uh, what they want you to do is foil all that out. So really, you have x plus 3 uh, squared, so there's two of them, and then you have x plus 2, and an x plus 1. So to get what they're looking for in the quiz or, or wherever, what you need to do is foil this one, and then I would probably foil this one, then foil this one, and then put them together. This is sort of a big, nasty one. Anyway, this first one is going to be x squared plus 6x plus 9. That's foiling these two together. And then foiling these ones together, I'll get x squared plus x plus 2x, so it's plus 3x, and then 2 times 1 is plus 2. So there, I've got uh, sort of a nasty looking thing. Now to foil that, so x squared times x squared, x to the fourth. x squared times 3x plus 3x uh, cubed. Uh, x squared times a 2 would be a plus 2x squared. In the book, they show how to do this way, and I don't mind it. When you go to the next term, 6x times x squared, 
you write your n number right down here. Just so this times this is a cube, so you put it underneath the cube. 6x times 3x is b plus 18x squared. 6x times 2 will be plus 12x. And then finally, let's take the 9. 9 times x squared is 9x squared. 9 times 3x would be a plus 27x. And 9 times 2 is plus 18. Okay, once I have all those, then I can add things up. So I have an x to the fourth, plus 9x cubed, plus about 29x squared, plus 39x, plus 18. So there's the polynomial that results from those four uh, factors or those four x-intercepts uh, from above there. You know, a nice, a, a nice thing that you could do to test, you know, and see if this is correct, just to check, you could say, well, let's try synthetic division. So 1, 9, 29, 39, and 18. And any one of those numbers that they had up top there should work. So let's try, say, minus 2. Uh, minus 2. Uh, bring down to 1. 1 times that's minus 2. That's 7. That's minus 14, that's 15, that's minus 30. Uh, that would be positive 9. 9 times 2, is, sure enough, comes out to remainder of 0. And any of those other ones should work too. Okay, hopefully that helps you with um, multiplicities and uh, also helps you with sort of taking the multiplicities and forming a polynomial uh, from them.